Hey, second grade, Miss Shannon here with our comprehension skill of the week. This week, we will be learning all about cause and effect. What is cause and effect? A cause is an event that makes something happen. An effect is what happens because of that event. If you know an effect, you can try to identify the cause by asking yourself, why did the event happen? What caused it? If you know the cause, you can try to identify the effect by asking yourself, what happened because of that event? That will tell you the effect. This is an example of our cause and effect graphic organizer. We will use this week to organize our thoughts and identify cause and effect. Now, you will not be using this graphic organizer today. I will be showing a few examples of finding cause and effect in our story, but you do not need to write it down in this graphic organizer today. You will be working in your Your Turn practice book, pages 243 through 245. So go ahead and pause this video as you find your pencil and your book. Okay, second graders, here is our story on page 243. It is titled Sports Rules. Follow along as I read aloud. Rules are important in sports. Rules tell how players Rules tell players how to play a game. They tell how to score points. They tell how a game is won. They also tell players what they can and cannot do. All players in a game must agree to the same rules. Sometimes a player breaks a rule. Then he or she may not be allowed to play for all or part of the game. Second graders, I'm going to stop and think for a moment. I think I identified a cause and effect in this story already. So I'm going to think about my graphic organizer. Again, you are not responsible for writing this down right now. I would rather you listen and follow along. If the cause is a player breaks a rule during a sports game, what happens because of that? When a player breaks a rule, what is the effect? Do you remember from the book? Go back and reread the last paragraph I just read. When a player breaks a rule, the player might not be able to play in the rest of the game. That is the effect for breaking a rule. Let's keep going. Basketball rules. Have you ever played basketball? If not, the name basketball gives you a clue about some of the rules. Basketball is played with a ball on a basketball court. Players score points by throwing the ball through a basket or hoop. There are rules about how to move the ball in basketball. Players must dribble or bounce the ball. They may also pass or throw the ball to another player. They may not hold the ball and run with it. This would not allow other players a chance to get the ball. And here I see um, a chart or a text feature giving us more information. What do you see in this chart, second graders? I see they are comparing baseball to basketball with the number of players for each sport the way to move the ball in each sport, and ways that you can score in baseball and basketball. Let's continue reading. Baseball rules. Baseball rules are different from basketball rules. The pitcher from one team throws a ball to the batter on the other team. The batter gets three chances to hit the ball with a bat. Sometimes the batter misses. This is called a strike. After three strikes, the batter is out. Then it is another batter's turn. When the batter hits the ball, he or she runs around four bases. 
The last base is home plate. The batter crosses home plate to score a run. The other team tries to get the batter out. They can tag the batter with the ball. Then the batter cannot score a run. Without rules, sports would be confusing. No one would know the way to play a game. Rules make every player a good sport. Okay, second graders, now we are going to work on answering these comprehension questions on page 245. I will work on the first two with you, and the third one you will do on your own. Be sure to write in complete sentences, starting each sentence with a capital letter and ending with a period. Let's get started. Number one, why are rules important in sports? Hmm, why are rules important? Well, at the very last paragraph, I read, without rules, sports would be confusing. No one would know the way to play a game. That is why sports are important. Rules are important in sports because they tell you how to play the game. Press pause as you write down your sentence and play again when you're ready to move on. Number two, what happens when a basketball player shoots the ball through the hoop? Hmm. Well, this sounds like a cause and effect. So what happens when a basketball player shoots a ball through the hoop? What happens? Let's reread the section titled Basketball Rules to find out. I can see in the first paragraph, it says, have you ever played basketball? If not, the name basketball gives you a clue about some of the rules. Basketball is played with a ball on a basketball court. Players score points by throwing the ball through a hoop. Oh, so that is what happens when the ball goes through the hoop or the basket. They earn a point for their team. So what happens when a basketball player shoots the ball through the hoop? The player scores a point for their team. That is the effect. Press pause if you need to and play again when you are ready. Okay, second graders, now it is your turn. What happens when a batter in baseball gets three strikes? Do you remember what happens after they've got three strikes? You can go back and find that information on the section titled Baseball Rules. Make sure you find the evidence in the text to support your thought. Then you will write down your answer in a complete sentence on number three. When you are finished, take a picture of page 245 and insert it in the green box. If your camera is not working, please type your answers on this slide so I can check them. Thanks for following along and starting to think about cause and effect in our text.